Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst, Adam Karlberg. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. And I'm going to be walking you guys through one of the main reversion strategies that I like to use to analyze the markets and look for potential trading entry and exit points. Um, so yeah, let's get into it, guys. So one of the things we know about um, the price of stocks and assets at foreign exchange is this idea of mean reversion. And what is mean reversion? Well, the idea is that prices can only go so far away from their average before they have to come back. So after an explosive move, potentially, prices will tend to fall back to some kind of long-term average, whether that be a 200-day moving average, a 100-day moving average, or something. And that can work either from a, a long sell-off or aggressive sell-off or an aggressive breakout. Now, one strategy that I like to use, and this specifically works in really choppy markets with low volatility or really high volatility, but are in a tight range. And what ha tends to happen is these assets that are running in this um, kind of tight range or this, you know, potentially lower volatility, but still going up and down, they aren't able to break out as much and they tend to revert to the mean more often than not and quite frequently. So what I've come up with is I'm going to show you a strategy using what we call the volume weighted average price which takes the average price relative to the volume that was used at each level. So it's not just taking an average price over time, but it takes into account the amount of volume that was bought at each point to use to show you how this strategy can be used, especially in choppy markets. So I've got three different examples that we're going to walk through. And the first one is on this Australian US dollar. So what we can see is in this little box over here, Make this a little bit bigger just so we can verify kind of where our area is. And in this area, what we've got is we've got this real chop, right? As we can see, it's quite, it's really choppy. And what we've got is our VWAP in the middle and our VWAP bands. Now you can adjust these bands however you see fit, but this is just taken off trading view and you know different platforms will use different kind of VWAPs and different band levels. Sometimes they may use moving averages where they may have um, a shorter, a longer, and one in the middle. And that's a similar kind of strategy that can be used. But what we can see here is that for the most part, the price, this blue mid VWAP point, um, is acting as this kind of central mean. And the price has been able to break out of these bands, but not frequently. In fact, through this, um, this is on the five minute chart, through this stretch, it's only broken out of that twice. And each time it's reverted back to the mean. So if we look at all the other times that it's challenged gone once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six, seven. And on the other side, it's gone once, twice, as we can see, three. Um, and each time it's reverted back to this mean. So the presumable or the you could in this strategy, what you would be doing is you'd be looking for extreme deviations away from this average and then a potential move back to the mean. And what you can do is, because of how reluctant the price is to move beyond these um, bands, it actually enables a fairly good um, low-risk strategy because you can set a stop um, potentially here with a high-risk reward. So if we were looking at trading on this entry, we'd be able to, um, as we can see, this candle here is quite, um, this is quite a, uh, this, excuse me, <laughs> this pin bar candle would be a good example of an entry point. So if we're looking here, and we know that we're going to try and revert back to this mean. Oops. So what we do is we set our stop below this wick, and we have our target set at this average. And this is, a, as I said, a really good risk return, almost three to one. And we know generally that it's not going to stay out of this band, um, these bands for long. Now, what we do know is once this chop is over or, you know, in over the long term, this is a consolidation, it's going to break down. So this is why the stop is really important, because at some point it will break down. Now we're going to move and have a look at some more examples. So similarly on the, the franc, the yen, although not as clean, you can see um, at various points along here, the strategy working. So if we look over here, again, we've got some chop. And guys, just bear with me. I'm only looking at 
this bit here. As we can see, we've got these touches again, which stretching out, stretching out of these bands, stretching out of these bands, stretching out of these bands, and we revert back to the mean. So it enables um, swing strategies and shorter term strategies. And the last one we'll have a look at is Bitcoin. So again, works with multiple asset classes, but we are looking for this ultimate chop. And this is a really good trade on Bitcoin. We know that Bitcoin has been kind of consolidating towards the 16, you know, towards the bottom of $16,000 and just below. Um, and as we can see here, so we've got two breakouts out of this zone. But besides that, we've got multiple attempts to test the bands and none of which have worked. And each time it's kind of reverted back to this mean. And even still to today, you can see it's reverting back to the mean. So again, some things to remember and some tips to include is that you want to, if you combine this with a strong candle, candlestick pattern such as here, you increase your chances of this pattern not just being a breakdown of this strategy, but potentially that bounce back up. Secondly, you want to really focus on these entry points and really fight for your price because it enables the best chance of risk reward. Thirdly, when you're identifying these chances for this mean reversion, we do want to be specifically looking for stocks that are in a choppy range or are in some kind of tight range. And lastly, one of the reasons this strategy is so good is because it works in low volatility markets. So in recent weeks and days, there's been a lack of liquidity and volatility in the market as traders are unsure about where, which direction the market is, will go. And this strategy, as I said, works really well um, in this kind of market, although it doesn't work as well in a trending market. So just be aware of that, guys. But Hope you enjoyed this video and good luck trading.